Allen Park, the Detroit Lions had one last shot to beat Atlanta, and the refs took it away from them. Nobody would have faulted Jim Caldwell for making excuses for why his team lost. Dot, but he's refused to use any of them. The most popular excuse on Monday was the clock. Dot, there were so many photos and still frames bouncing around Twitter, alleging 11 seconds should have been left on the clock. You would have thought they were studying the Zupruder film. But Caldwell wasn't touching any of it. It is what it is, he said. Eight seconds, it's what we had, what we have to deal with. That's it. Not for so many fans, who insist Detroit was screwed by the NFL Golden Tate was initially ruled to have a caught a would be game winning touchdown with eight seconds left, but the call was reversed upon review. The ball was brought out to the one-yard line. Since the game clock went from stop to running, NFL rules dictate Detroit had to lose a timeout. But it didn't have a timeout to give, so the officials took 10 seconds instead. But with only 8 seconds showing on the clock, the game was over. Detroit lost 30 to 26. That's where the conspiracy theories come and dot some still frames from the TV broadcast show Tate's knee appearing to hit with 11 seconds left. Still, Caldwell didn't budge. I think everybody can split hairs and look at it differently and all that kind of stuff, he said. I like to deal with reality, and the reality of it is it doesn't do any good to complain about it. Doesn't do any good to say maybe, perhaps T's over and done with. We lost the game. They applied the rule as the rule stood correctly, and that's the dot end of story. Caldwell was asked how long the Tate play takes to run. He acknowledged the team has a good idea what that number is, but wouldn't disclose it, fearing it could look like excuse making. Instead, he simply said the average play takes about 4 seconds, while an outside run play takes about 6 seconds. The Tate play was obviously quicker than average, but no play, besides the spike, takes just 1 second either. And anything longer than one second would have left nothing on the clock either the runoff. A better gripe might have been the contact on the route. Tate ran a quick drag, and was clearly bumped as Matthew Stafford delivered the pass, which was low. It's hard to say what exactly caused the route to come up short, but even Stafford acknowledged the physical defense contributed to it. But Caldwell refused to use that as an excuse. There's a number of different things, reasons, why you could look back and say why and why you did not, Caldwell said. I think that's what makes our sport interesting. What we did is what we did. It didn't work, and that's it. For Caldwell, the approach was a predictable one. Since arriving in Detroit in 2014, he's refused to make excuses after big or controversial losses, and he's been a part of a few of them.
for him, he believes it's his job as the head coach to help the team turn the page, and this is part of his method. I remember growing up you guys always talked about a loser's limp, you know? Caldwell said. To me, that's the next thing to it. You start complaining about stuff, this should have happened this way, and you forget about that. You got to do something about it rather than talk about it. He don't believe in excuses and all those kinds of things. They don't work. And they are not good for us. We just need to go back to work. The Lions did that Monday, when they reconvened in Allen Park to watch film and then correct mistakes during a light walkthrough. Players are off Tuesday, then return on Wednesday as they prepare for their NFC North opener on Sunday in Minnesota. We'll see how we bounce back, Caldwell said. The idea is to get it behind us as quickly as we can. A lot of that has to do with guys making up their mind that it's over and done with. But the close ones make you think about it a little bit more. That's what we'll do today. We'll look at the film today, go over it and make our corrections, then we'll put it behind us and move on. That's part of what this league is all about, how you handle it. If you throw out the disastrous start first half of the 2015 season, Detroit is an even 6-6 after losses under Caldwell.